Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we will be doing a review of the Mac 10. So let's strip this gun down and see its stats and then we'll throw all the customizations back on there and see how much the stats are affected by it and how how much better it becomes. So real quick, the damage of the MAC-10 without any customizations is 15, which is probably the lowest damage of any gun in the game. Uh, the accuracy is 100, which is also pretty terrible, but it has a very high fire rate of 10, uh, the fastest fire rate of a secondary weapon. It also has a holder of 32, which actually runs out pretty quickly, uh, considering how fast it shoots and a total ammo of 160. The MAC-10 only has one skin uh, and that is a camo. Nice green camo. I quite like it. Uh, so real quick, uh, I also have the holographic sight for the MAC-10 uh, as well as the, tr the silencer number three. Uh, this flashlight or the laser. Uh, I prefer to use the flashlight um, just because... Actually, I prefer to use the laser just because it boosts the accuracy by a lot and it only uh, affects the damage by one. So the laser is definitely better uh, than the flashlight. Um, the fast clip ups the fire rate by 2.5 as well. So. After all of the customizations are added, the damage is 18, accuracy is 113 if you put on the laser, uh, fire rate is 12.5 which is pretty damn great, uh, and a holder of 32 once again, and a total ammo of 160. So let's go and test this weapon. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go and test this weapon out and see how it performs. Um, I honestly do not like this weapon all that much just because the accuracy and the damage are quite horrible and if that that combination just causes this weapon to be pretty bad. Um, the fire rate is pretty good but if it has a damage of 18 that means uh, you have to land 6, uh, six to 7 shots to the body uh, to get a kill. It does have a pretty quick fire rate, but 6 to 7 is still a lot, and that's not even considering uh, if people have armor on. So yeah, um, damage wise, uh, this gun is pretty terrible, not gonna lie to you guys. Um, if you guys are looking for a high powered weapon, I would not recommend buying this weapon. Um, but yeah, let's test it out and see how it actually performs, see if you guys like it or not. As you see, it takes a lot of shots to take down a prison. That took nearly, I want to say, 12 shots, which is quite a bit. So yeah, as I already said guys, uh, the damage on this weapon is pretty terrible. So just because the damage is so low, it gives your opponent a lot of time to respond um, and shoot back at you. And they could kill you even if you shoot at them first, um, which is pretty terrible. Um, and for that reason, I would not recommend buying this gun. 
Uh, honestly, I'm not recommending buying this gun. I'm just doing a quick review on it uh, to show you guys, uh, show the people that are actually thinking about buying this gun, uh, kind of turn them away from it, um, just because it's honestly one of the most awful handguns uh, in the game, if not the most awful. Like, I don't know. I, I I don't even know why I bought modifications for it. Uh, I just thought it might like up the damage and help this gun become better. Um, but if you're thinking about buying an automatic uh, handgun, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, the Tech 9 over the Mag 10. Uh, and hopefully I'll be doing a review of the Tech 9 uh, very soon as well. yeah guys uh that's the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that thumbs up button uh if you like this type of content in general hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell uh, to keep updated on all the content um but other than that i'll let you guys go thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have an amazing day goodbye